All right, hey everybody, we're gonna do some play along. This is designed for intermediates, so you can play after me. Now this is a fiddle groove, but this is good for you whether you play fiddle styles or other styles. Play after me on E. Intermediate. Just do your best. down the octave and you do any bowing you want by the way and if it's easy for you then challenge yourself by uh, changing your bow That was my bad. On D. On A. G sharp. D. I'm just put a little ornament on the first note of every phrase. Maybe on the last note. We're going to take that same scale up. It's a secret scale. B. D. Changing the rhythm. Ah. All right, let's mix it up now. Let's mix it up. What I want to do, and this might seem easy for some of you intermediates, but this is really valuable just to look at your groove uh, because it's not always about stretching our vocabulary, learning more stuff, more scales, more licks, playing faster. A lot of times becoming a more confident and consistent musical musician is about doing what we already know how to do better. And so this is a great case in point. It's just grooving. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna take you through is a groove, just you can pick any note that works and you can even move the notes around if you want. You don't have to play the notes that I'm playing, but we're gonna focus on making the groove feel really good. And so there's a couple ways we can do run, pony, run, pony, run, pony, run, pony. Or we can flip that, pony, run, pony, run, pony, run. Or we can mix it up in a longer phrase. So I'm gonna show you. So start with run, pony. And just do that for a second and make it feel really good. Just sink into it, sink your awareness into that. Are you on the front of the beat? Are you behind the beat? Are you right in the center? Are you swinging? Is your, is your arm relaxed? Are you getting a good sound, a little bit of bite, but not 
tensing up your body. And then let's flip that around. So it's gonna be like pony run, pony run. Try to let your shoulder drop. Not your elbow, but your shoulder. Try to let your other shoulder be loose. Support your violin with the left hand. If you're on the cello, by the way, there's gonna be more in the middle of the bow. But for the, for the violins, you're gonna be in the tip, usually. But you could try it in the middle. You can try the frog if you want, it's a good exercise. Now, let's mix it up like this. So let's try it. Again, just really focusing on doing this well, like really making it groove, making it feel good. Now let's flip that around like this. You do it. Now we're gonna make it a little more uh, like random. I'll show you what I mean. So we'll flip it around. So we do. We can even do this one. So you're going between quarter. Try that. Just try to mix it up. Maybe surprise yourself, but always making it feel really good, locking right in. And now let's play some lines. Play some lines back to me, okay? We're gonna trade. On D. Exactly. My bad. Even if these lines are easy for you, again, the challenge is making them feel good. I mean, it's a challenge for me, too. You can never make it feel good. So let's do some trading now. So when I say trading, what I mean is I'm going to play whatever I want and then you play whatever you want. Um, just mixing it up. And before we get, and then once after we do the trading, I'm going to let this roll for you to just try out some of these on your own. And before we get into that, I want to make sure that you know that you can get my free masterclass. It's, it's for any kind of string player, really, it, who wants to become a more functional musician and get more out of your practice. So I'm going to try to leave a link to that below here, or just remember to go to christianhouse.com forward slash education. And if you want more than that, you can reach out to me or look for other uh, different uh, offers and programs to get coaching with me, group, group coaching, private coaching, and some of my courses and stuff at the website. So let's do some trading, and then I'm going to give you this groove to do on your own. So you do what you want after me. Uh, what you want? Thank you. 
got this. Make it feel good. Doesn't have to be fast, doesn't have to be fancy. Yeah, let's do some more trading. Even if you're into jazz or blues or pop music, this is good for you. All right, I'm going to let you play out on this. You got it. Go ahead. I'll see you on the next one.